tonight with continuing coverage of an officer involved shooting that happened last Saturday. Tonight, Winnebago County Sheriff's Office releases body camera video of when Sergeant Joe Brulard shot and killed Faustine Guatigo. We do not air the video of the shooting itself, but we do want you to warn. We do want to warn you rather that this video may be disturbing to some. This is how a domestic disturbance call ended on April 10th in the 2100 block of Belvert Drive. Sheriff's Department. Hey, let me see your hands. Drop it. 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 Body camera video from multiple deputies shows Sergeant Joe Brulard shooting Faustine Guatigo as he charges him with a metal pipe. Sergeant Brulard knocked unconscious by Guatigo. Quitigo dies from the shots fired by Sergeant Brulard. But this is how it ended. The video also gives us context into how the call started. Yeah, hi, um, and then I was calling because my boyfriend was getting me out of home. That's why I called you guys. Quitigo's wife calls 911 around 1130 in the morning, telling deputies he punched her in the face and head. She later tells them he may kill her and he grabbed her neck to try to. Deputies meet her at a nearby Casey's, but can't find Guatigo at home. Later, she calls again around 545, and deputies find Guatigo in the front yard of that home in the 2100 block of Bellwood. I need to talk to you. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to hurt you. I do not want to hurt you. That's a taser. After a scuffle, Guatigo runs into the house, and deputies call for more backup. After getting a key from his wife, video shows deputies go back into the house to find him in that basement with that metal pipe before he charges and hits Sergeant Brulard with it. After shots are fired, video shows deputies putting handcuffs on Guatigo and then starting life-saving measures. This is the first time we see deputies' split-second decision to pull the trigger both in this situation and in others. Before now, Winnebago County deputies rarely released video of officer-involved shootings. In an effort to be transparent with our community and keep them safe, I've decided to release the video from the body-worn camera. It helps preserve the integrity of the incident. Transparency that Winnebago County State's Attorney Jay Hanley says he supports. You know, I understand the public's interest in these cases. And again, I, I, I promise to be as transparent as we can be. The investigation is in the hands of the Winnebago Boone Integrity Task Force. Ultimately, after that investigation is finished, it then goes to the state's attorney to make a decision on if deputies should be charged. And while we have virtually all of the video of the deputy involved shooting in that shooting by Winnebago County, we may never have video of an officer involved shooting by Rockford police because officers do not have body worn cameras. RPD released dash cam video maps, scene photos and radio traffic from that officer involved shooting that happened last Sunday. Officer Owen McGinnis shot 19 year old Jose Gonzalez Jr. Video shows Gonzalez running from that car you just saw there as police were trying to pull it over. They say police say McGinnis chased Gonzalez on foot before shooting him. A gun and laser sight were both found at the scene near the foot chase. Gonzalez was shot in the leg. The Winnebago Boone Integrity Task Force is also investigating this shooting.